the people that did oppose you and they sort of there was a fear of you coming because they said it was this sort of hate rhetoric and it sort of that you targeted <laughs> people. Do you think there's any validity in that? No, I mean, you know, if you once you start down this hate speech road, what you what, mm. route, what you're basically going to end up doing is precluding people from telling jokes about women, telling jokes about gays, jokes yeah. about black people, jokes about whoever. I want to tell jokes about everybody. Mm. I think everybody should be the subject for humor. I tell just as many jokes about the sad prats in the white nationalist movement as I do about Black Lives Matter. I think they're both funny. Mm. I think everything's funny. I think Islam is funny. I think it's inherently hilarious how the women dress, how the men behave. I think it's really, really fucking funny. Mm. Um, and I want to laugh at anything. I, I want to laugh at anyone. Republicans in America, mm. they feel like they can't crack certain jokes, they can't even express certain political opinions without having their jobs destroyed and their, and their lives ruined and their, mm. their friendships broken down. And this is one of the things that I do like about Trump. Um, people have traditionally- love about Trump. <laughs> Daddy. Don't, don't, yeah, don't, Daddy. Don't, don't be saying like, no, I do, I do. try and downplay your love. I do, I love him. You love Trump, um, man. I do love him. But <laughs> one of the things I like about him is, he, is that the, that 40% of the population who've always been terrified of cracking jokes or expressing themselves, now they're like total shit posters and they're taking to the internet. Do you think, and they're do, do you think it like, has galvanized this sort of uh, right? And even maybe do you think it's galvanized the hard right? in the sort of far right as well? Maybe a little bit, yeah. but I don't think they're much, that much of a problem. No, you I, don't. I just don't think it's that many people, mm. you know? Because I think you that's can... one of the main things as well, is, and you know, I think people's worries, what I've been hearing is that your views would bring fascists. And do you think that's valid? They hate me as much as I hate them. Why? Because mm. I'm a gay Jew immigrant Brit with a black fiance. You know, mm. they don't like that very much. They don't mm. like me and I don't like them. Do you think that because they complain so much about you that you actually... I'm Madonna in the 1990s. I'm th I'm, I'm, no, I'm the one that, 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 that gets banned from MTV. Literally, yeah. literally, they hate me. Yeah, they've made me irresistible. They've made me so sexy and so compelling and so brilliant. I've sold fucking hundreds of thousands of books because yeah. they lie about me and it does... You know what? I don't mind it and I want them to carry on because yeah. when they lie about me and they call me a racist and a sexist and a homophobe and they say I yeah. pander to white nationalism and all this kind of stuff, when people actually watch me and they realize how ridiculous it is, it isn't me that looks bad by the end yeah. of it, it's them. So you are planning to go? We'll be going tomorrow. And you know it's going to be a riot? Well, I hope it's not a riot. We're liaising directly with the police. We're going to do everything yeah. we can to make it as safe as possible. I can't guarantee anything. Nice talking with you, man. Thanks, Thanks for the time. Much. I really Thanks, appreciate cheers. you, man. Thank, Thank you very much. Talk to him, you understand why, how we can get a rally together. Yeah. Yeah. And it is that weird distinction though, it's like, it's something used by a lot of people. If it's wrong, I'm just joking. It's, it's, you can sort of masquerade behind the sort of like, oh, I'm telling a joke, and this is a fact. This is a joke, but you know. He smells great. <laughs> <laughs>